Hello and welcome to our first real try to make something object-oriented, a program object-oriented. I have here prepared already the hardware and you will see it's a tremendous complex thing we are going to build. Because these are the things we are going to use. One LED, one resistor, of course, 220 ohms. Two cables, breadboard, Arduino. Will be tough. So, we we'll use the resistor. We will use the LED. I will connect minus to ground. And I will use output number two to go to the resistor. So pretty much the same thing which we did for, for the blink. And this is exactly what we are going to program. Blink object oriented. Let's go to the computer and write the software. Hardware setup. Finish. Okay, so let's have a look on the programming. Yeah. I'm not sure if you know, but uh, Arduino, this programming language is called C++. Yeah. We will use this to, to program our, our object. Because now I want to have the pin as an object. I want to have the pin as an object and I want to derive a class from this pin object, which is called digital output. And I will use this digital output class to let this LED blink. That's the goal. Let's see if we can achieve it or not. Hopefully. Hopefully we can. So I already prepared. Uh, Arduino, I will save it under a certain name, save as mm -hmm. three, uh, stick to the plan, and we are at 42 already. Yeah, blink, oh, 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 blink, object oriented. Okay, speichern. That's it. Yeah, there is a setup. I will immediately remove these things. I know them. We know them. Okay. I will again define the pin. Yeah. Define uh, LED pin. This is number two. I will define the wait time, or I will call it on time. This should be 1000 milliseconds and I will use the off time again. So pretty much like the LED, like the blink sketch. That's it. Yeah. Now we want to define the pin as a class. Yeah. How we're defining a class in C++? The keyword is class. Calls. Class, of course, class. Now we need to give the class a name. I will call it pin class. That's the class of the object I want to produce. Okay. And now I describe which methods and which, which attributes I have in my object. The methods shall be, they are public methods public. One public method is pin class. That's the so-called constructor. When we are producing a instance of this object, this is called. This is called. You can initialize things like this. This is basically the setup. Setup routine for the class. Okay. And then there is also a destructor because I can also delete classes again. Yeah. This is usually 
with this till design in front. It's the destructor. Yeah, if, for instance, if the pin class is producing some other elements, I have to delete them in the destructor. Okay. And then I want to have some private attributes. Yeah. And this is pin number. Okay. Write it small. Pin number. That's my pin class. Shell can, can be produced, shall have a pin number. Yeah? If I press Ctrl T, I have it already in order. So this here, this is the so-called default constructor. Okay? This is called. However, if I want to produce the class, if I want to make an instance of the class, I want to immediately tell which pin number this is. So I will use a second constructor, pin class, and I will have an attribute, yeah, a parameter of this, yeah, pin number. Okay. So this, this one is the default constructor. And this one is an additional constructor, yeah? or an overloaded constructor. This means cons... Was it, was it correct? Overloading constructor, overloading. Now I can produce a pin class without handing over a pin number. Then this constructor is called. Yeah? Or I can produce a pin class by handing over a pin number than this constructor is called. This is already polymorphism. Okay? So that's my pin class. I have to code somehow. Now I have to, it's just a definition. It's just a definition. Okay? Now I have to write those methods. I have to write the, the corresponding uh, method names simply. How is this working? To write the method, I first have to give the class name and then this yeah? and now the method pin class. Now I'm right, this is now this. Okay, now what shall happen there? This pin number equals zero. Since we don't know what to do, what else to do, we set the pin number to zero. There is already something inside the this pointer. This is pointing to myself. So it's the object. Yeah. Pointing to myself. This is a pointer to the instance current instance which has called this method. Yeah. This is dereferencing the pointer. Now I can access yeah, and I will access pin number. Pin class is allowed to access pin number because it's the same and it's a private. So I myself are allowed to see my private things. Okay. So that's the one constructor. Let's produce the other constructor. Yeah. There we have an attribute and we will hand it over here. Now you see already that it's important that I write this, this yeah. because this has the same name as this. Yeah. So, but however, since I used this pointer here, it's clear where I want to have it, or where I want to put it. Okay, And then the deconstructor, I do not have to use, do anything in there. Right? I have not allocated some memory or something like this. The attributes and so on, they will be deleted automatically. Yeah? The memory will be freed. So I do not have to delete the pin number or something like this. However, if I would have here produced other elements, other objects, for instance, I would have to, to 
unload to, to delete them here in the deconstruct again, because then they would just remain in memory and have a memory, so-called memory leakage. Bad thing. Because we are running out of memory for sure then. So, that's the pin class. You see the pin class is not doing too much right now. It's just holding pin number. However, this should be the base class of our things. Now I'm going to derive a class called digital output. I want to derive the class. It should inherit the pin number, yeah? however, should extend the functionality that this pin is working as digital output. So I define a new class. Class. Yeah? And now I call it digital output. Yeah? And now I make double point yeah? and pin class. It's based on pin class. Yeah? Here, this is a brand new class. Here, it's based on pin class. Yeah? So let's define this. There's also a constructor. Yeah? There's public. There's also a constructor. Yeah. This part is of course called digital output. This is again. I will now produce no, no uh, default constructor because I do not tend to, to derive anything from here. Yeah. So we'll call it just pun pin number. There's only one constructor. Yeah. Then I want, there's a deconstructor, of course. Cope and paste, use it. And then, Steuerung T, Ctrl D, looks good. Then I will use other methods. Yeah. I will use the method set. Digital output could be set could be reset as method yeah. and could could be set to a certain value I want to give yeah. make yeah. and I will hand over a pool variable out this should have yeah. these are the three methods I can do on my digital output in my model so I do not have to ooh, uh, Missed here semicolons. I do not have to use any any attributes because the only attribute I use is pin number and this is inherited by pin class. Okay. Digital output class. Now let's code the Let's code the, the, the values. Tuk uh, tuk. Constructor. I just copy this. What we need to do in the constructor, we need to this pin class equals pin number. Oh, no, of course, pin number. Here. Yeah. We have to set the pin number during construction. Yeah. What else we have to do? Anything else? Of course. Of course. We have to set the pin mode. Now we know the pin mode of this pin number. is output okay this can be do during construction time already okay now deconstructing i do not have to do anything go away this go away 
Now the set method. What do I have to do in the set method? This I will make a digital digital write. This pin number and we will set it to high. This is done. Oop, there is the D reference. This is done. Set. And then there is the reset. Set it to low. And then there is the make. There's a pull out, and I will set it to out. That's it. Okay. That's it. Let's see if it's still compiling. No. Why? Pin number is private within this context. Private. Ah! Of course! I said it is private. Yeah. So my derived class cannot access this pin number. I want, do not want to have this private, I want to have this protected. Protected. Okay? Because then me and my kids, the derived classes, can, can access this attribute. Let's see if it's working now. Ooh, working! Poo. It's well, up to now it was just definition. We defined two objects, pin class, digital output class, and defined and coded also the we defined the attributes and we coded the methods. Yeah? Like I said, the attributes are the static behavior and the, and the methods are somehow the dynamic behavior of this object. And how are we producing this object now? Very simple. Digital output like a variable yeah lead I call it lead and now I give already an attribute and this is two lead pin two in this case yeah? in the setup I do not have to do anything yeah? I do not have to call uh, pin mode or something like this, because this is already called within here. Here the constructor, with this line the constructor will be called. We are here. Yeah? Because it's a derived class, yeah? the default constructor of the parent class is called, we are here. The default constructor is running through, pin number gets number zero. Yeah? We come back to, to here. Yeah? We are setting the pin number to pin number, so this is now 3, and set the pin mode to output. So this is already done. Yeah? The, the, by calling this constructor here, this is already done. Setup is empty. And in loop, what do we have to do? We have to call the method of LED. Yeah? So we're calling LED, and now with point we can call the method. We call the set method. Okay? And now we delay for LED on time. This is the compile time constant. This is the compile time constant from before. Yeah. And then we call a reset and delay for the off time. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Let's see if this is working. Compile. Is it compiling? Now we know what compile means. Okay. So syntax check and everything. The, the, the code is ready. Let's switch over to, to our thing and upload the sketch. Really? Really, 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 
It's working. <laughs> yeah. You see? Object oriented blink script. Now, of course, you can say, hey, it's overkill. Granted. But it's object oriented. Yeah. We now, and I mean, we made the blink script with just, I don't know, five or six times more lines of code. You see already what's the number lines of code, what this is tells about functionality. Yeah? Because last time we made the blink script with six lines of code, actually. Now we have a lot of lines of code. However, it's working. And I think you know now better what an object is and how to make an object in, in C++. Yeah, this is how we make as, uh, an object in C++. The goal now is for you to produce a, a class which is called analog output and then we can output analog values. Okay, so then we can influence the brightness of the LED. Yeah? This would be a good thing for training to make a second derived class from pin class, call it analog output, think about some methods there, and well, that's it. Okay. And this is how it should look like. I made here a little bit test that we turn on, turn off slowly increase the brightness and then slowly decrease the brightness. So, uh, you see, and I, I've even coded different different uh, things. In increasing, I'm using a byte value from 0 to 255. And when decreasing, I'm using a floating point value from 100.0% to 0.0%. .0 and this can be handled to polymorphism with one object with this analog output object. So I can either hand over float value, then it's interpreted as a percent value, or I can give a byte value, then it's just written on the, on the PWM output. Okay. This is one thing how it, should, could, how it could look like. Yeah. I even implemented digital functionality, turn on and turn off. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Next time, we'll do something else with classes. Thank you. Goodbye.